All right, guys, so fall is right around the corner. And as I do every year for you guys, it's going to be my top 10 niche fall fragrances that I'll be looking to rock this fall of 2020. If you guys wanna check them out, there's some fragrances here that you guys know very well, but there's some really newcomers, some new discoveries that I made that I can't wait to rock out of the hell out of in the next couple of months, guys. Stick around, the video's up next. All right, guys, not too much blabber here. Let's kick off the list. As you guys know, this is my top list. No one else's. This, these are the fragrances that I'm really looking forward to wearing in the next couple of months, which is the full type of weather that we get here in New England, Connecticut, New York area, tries to air, which is, you know, anywhere between 60s to 40 degrees, give or take. You know, the, the leaves will start to change. It starts to get brisk. The air gets cooler in the morning, cooler at night. So these are fragrances that I think will do perfect from now all the way until November. So without any further ado, let's kick things off with my 10th spot, Journeyman from Amouage. This particular fragrance is a really different take on the note of tobacco. This is really a tobacco leaf kind of a scent. This is a different take on tobacco. Journeyman is just absolutely incredible. I love this fragrance from Amouage. This is a fragrance that when it came out in 2014, everybody was going crazy to try to get a bottle. And again, it's a spicy cardamom pepper you know, tobacco leaf. It's a little bit dry, very elegant, very sophisticated. One of my favorites, I recently did a top five must have homage fragrances. This is definitely in the top five of my homage fragrances of all time right now. This could change, but up to this day, one of my favorites, one that I really, really enjoy wearing in the fall time. I can wear this dress up, dress down in the office. You really want to make a great first impression. This is one that really will give you an edge. Journeyman at the 10th spot. At the 9th spot from MFK, Mason Francis Kirshner. This is going to be Grand Soir. Now, Grand Soir is going to be a very animalistic, honey, spicy, also a little dry. There's vanilla, there's benzoin, so there's resins here. A little bit of sweetness going on. Almost boozy in the beginning, but what you're left off with is this really incredible, animalistic, honey, dry, benzoin, resins, almost instancy vibe that to me, it is just one fragrance that is a standout fragrance from MFK. Arguably one of the best fragrances in my opinion. Definitely in the top three right now from MFK. If you guys want to know more about MFK, go check out my Good, Bad, Ugly, Underrated, and Overrated, which I covered the whole line of MFK. I'll pop it up here. Go check out that video and see how much I love this particular fragrance as well. At the ninth spot, MFK Grand Soir. At the eighth spot, we have a fragrance from Javoy. I talk a lot about this house. This is Psychedelique. This is going to be a dark, deep, chocolatey, but also very resinous and hard to wear patchouli at times. You really must love patchouli to enjoy this. I love this fragrance. It gives me like a boozy, almost like a liqueur effect up top. And the dry down of this fragrance, if you enjoy Coromandel from Chanel, this is Coromandel Noir. This is the dark, deep, bold, um, nocturnal, if you will, brother of Chanel Coromandel. An absolutely stunning masterpiece from Javoy. Psychedelique for patchouli lovers, a must at the eighth spot. At the seventh spot, this is a fragrance that's highly regarded in my rotation because it's a different take on tobacco again. As you see here, there's gonna be a commonality here, something that's very common for me for cooler weather, which is going to be leather, tobacco, resinous, you know, patchouli dark scent. This is gonna be a different take on tobacco as well, but different than Journey, which is a dry tobacco. This is gonna be sweeter, Definitely more voluptuous, a more luminous take on tobacco. This has dry fruits, almost boozy up top. The tobacco here is extremely well made. This particular house here, Plume Impressions, this is going to be Rivalité Imperial, which is a company that doesn't really get much talk. Look at the detail on the bottle, the heavy metal cap, just gorgeous presentation. And the fragrance itself is one that if you haven't heard of, you must try. This is a fine made tobacco. I talked about this in length on this channel, and this is a fragrance that you should not disregard. If you're a true tobacco lover, this is one that's not definitely gonna give you an edge. It's almost gourmand territory, but it's an oriental tobacco done at its finest, guys. Check out the brand, Plume Impressions, if you haven't, but really dive into this one here if you're a true tobacco fan like myself. At the sixth spot, this one should come in no surprise to you guys. This is always in my top cool weather fragrances from the house of Roja Parfums. This is the new 2019 Parfum Cologne edition of Enigma which is a more affordable, but still a great take on this particular fragrance, which is cognac, tobacco, leather. This is a, you know, 
magical juice, guys. This I absolutely love. The reason why it's number six is because it's something that I don't really wear every time. This is mostly for, you know, dressier occasions, nighttime, when I really want to smell amazing or smell like a million bucks. These are all gonna make me smell amazing, but this, I don't know, it just has a special place in my heart. A lot of memories associated with this particular fragrance, so I tend to choose this for special occasions, if you will. But I do wear this a lot in the full time, but not as much as perhaps some of these. But at the sixth spot, Roja Parfums Enigma Parfum Cologne is an outstanding scent. I don't have to talk much about this. You guys know cognac, tobacco, leather, that Coca-Cola vibe that turns into like a Cinnabon dry down. This is an outstanding magical juice. If you haven't checked this one out or the collection, definitely check it out because it's perfection for the fall. If you guys are enjoying my picks, as you guys know, all these fragrances I true love. I hope you guys know that when I do these top lists, these are fragrances that are near and dear to my heart and I can't wait to wear them for the season upcoming. And these are no different. Um, as you're gonna see with the top five now, these are interchangeable. All of these could be number one, five could be one, one could be five. These are outstanding. All of these are outstanding, but these top five, I can't wait to rock them. Now, guys, if you guys are enjoying this video, if you're enjoying these picks, enjoy what I do here, please do show your support because it means a lot to the channel. If you could, leave me a like, click the subscriber, or go a step further, click the little bell icon. It doesn't cost anything. All of this will not take you more than a two seconds, you don't even have to stop the video, and I truly appreciate it. it helps the engagement and the growth of the channel. So, on with the picks. At the fifth spot is the fragrance house that I spoke about back in the day, I wanna say a few years ago. It was actually very highly regarded here in the fragrance community, now it went under the radar, but I'm glad to have revisited this fragrance because it's an outstanding boozy cognac slash dried fruit fragrances, which is, again, perfection for this weather. And the fragrance I'm talking about, 1270 from Frappon, we all know Luministe. This one's no different. What I love about this fragrance is the level of detail. This particular cap here is the same kind of uh, oak that they use in the caskets that they age the cognacs, which the brand is known for. And this particular fragrance is an outstanding cognac scent with dried fruits. I also get a little bit of lather here. There's some um, gorgeous coffee undertone. I am telling you guys, this is a gorgeous fragrance. If somebody came to me and said, hey Max, give me a perfect scent to wear this fall 2020, I would say inevitably, check this out. If you have a similar nose to mine, if you love tobacco, coffee, cognac, leather, this has it all, guys. A perfect boozy scent if I ever saw one. Look at the coat of arms here in the back of the bottle. Just outstanding attention to detail. The bottle looks great, the scent's amazing. It's, and the fragrance itself is gonna make you stand out. It's definitely one of those stand out in the crowd, turn heads type of a scent. One of those fragrances that when I'm wearing, people always ask, what are you wearing today, man? You smell amazing. Check out for Pun 1270 at the fifth spot. Speaking of under the radar fragrances, this particular one at the fourth spot is a fragrance that I discovered this year, a couple months ago. It was released last year, and I'm glad I discovered this to share with you guys. At this top list, this is Rasputin from the house of Sweetoft, which is a Swedish brand, also has the beautiful wooden cap, and Rasputin is going to be a very intriguing and just musky fragrance, a little bit floral. There's some honey, there's a honey facet in here that I love. There's jasmine, there's a hint of oud. The dry down on my skin of this particular fragrance is like this sweet, fruity, musky, vetiver type of a combination with this honey, the spices, the cloves, the cinnamon. There's a ton of spices here, cardamom. Just smells amazing, it's very captivating, but also has this level of intrigue because it has a lot of the wood facets that come to the forefront within uh, the first 30 minutes or so, including that oud, which makes this a very you know mysterious type of a scent, which will keep you guessing as the wearer and you know the bearer of the scent and as the people smelling you. It's gonna be perhaps of all these 10 choices, the most mysterious you know composition. I do love it, it does change in people's skins, so this might be a lot different on your skin than it is on mine, but on my skin, like I said, I get this sweet, fruity, musky vetiver with that honey, that animalistic honey that runs throughout, you know, from beginning to end. Rasputin is definitely an under the radar jewel, something that if you like mysterious, unique scents, you must check out at my fourth spot. At the third spot from the house of Amru Oud, this is a particular fragrance that I don't think I share with you guys much, but this is a particular fragrance that's kind of like a hidden secret of mine. I love this stuff. Oh yeah. All right, guys, this is going to be a boozy absinthe up top. This is going to be leather, some floral components, and obviously my favorite, vetiver. 
This is like a boozy, creamy, there's my source sandalwood in here, which is the most expensive kind of sandalwood you can obtain. And it's just blended to perfection. It's laced with a beautiful vetiver, along with some spices, some floral, there's narcissus here. Just a perfection when it comes to a boozy, um, you know, dark scent, but also very elegant and very sophisticated. This is a fragrance that I wear when I want to commend attention, but I also want to smell different. This is going to give you an edge. This is going to, this is what niche is all about, you know, and this particular fragrance nails it. The sandalwood along with the, with the Mysore, you know, the Mysore sandalwood here along with the vetiver and the leather with those floral components, it just makes it for a standout composition that I think if you want something that's very unique and intriguing to wear this fall, this fits the bill perfectly. Speaking of under the radar jewels, and then this is going to be a fragrance that when I first tried, I wasn't really impressed, but I kept coming back for it. I kept wearing it, I kept putting it on my skin, and I couldn't stop smelling myself, so I figured, okay, I love this fragrance. And this is going to be Gunnied from Marc Antoine Barrois, which is a fragrance house that did get quite a limelight on the fragrance community. Got some talks, now it kind of lost a little bit of the uh, of the momentum, but it's one that deserves limelight, and I can't wear it to wear it a lot this particular fall. I got this sometime this summer. Now the weather's gonna start to get cold. I think this is perfect for the cool weather. This is musky, it's fruity, there's mandarin orange up top, it's leathery, again, with the leather, the saffron. This is the kind of stuff I do enjoy. The spices just smells absolutely incredible. I believe Mock and Tumbaha is actually a fashion brand in France and they have two fragrances in their portfolio right now, this one and one more, which I can't really remember the name. It's, it's I'll, I'll pop it up here for you guys. But I don't really have much experience with that fragrance, but this one here I absolutely adore. And the reason why this gets a lot of talks in the fragrance community, I can see it here, I can see it from wearing it, and I can't wait to rock this in the next few months. It's one of those very sophisticated and elegant fragrances and again, very unique. I think what I like most about my, my choices here is that these are not your ordinary top list and there's a lot of different things here, a lot of different takes on leathers and resins and woods and spices. And that's what they do here with the musky leathery saffron, uh, musky dry down. It's one of those really outstanding creations over the past few years that you should not dismiss. All right guys, let me get a drum roll. I have a new passion of mine that I can't wait to rock this fall. And the crazy thing is my wife actually loved this as well, so we're gonna have to fight for this bottle. We're gonna have to share it, right? Because sharing is caring. But this particular fragrance is a new release that should be available at the time you're watching this video. And this is gonna be Rose Ink from the house of Kieran NYC, which you guys know I'm a big, big fan, big advocate of the brand. This is what I want for the fall time, ladies and gentlemen. This has rose, yes, but it has this saffron slash oud accord that I get. You guys know I'm not huge on florals, you guys know I'm not huge on oud, but this stuff here is made to perfection. You know what, this is gonna be my scent of the day today, guys. I am in love with this fragrance. It's not even fall yet, but this is one that I can't wait to just wear. I'm probably gonna have to get a second bottle. It is intoxicating good, is, is what I like to describe this. This is like, it, it's perfect for New Yorkers, but it's perfect for anybody that wants to smell sophisticated, anybody wants to feel, you know, uniquely special. This has like a special vibe to it. It's just magical, guys. It was blended to perfection. Jerome Pinat is actually the nose behind this one, and he captured the New York essence perfectly. I love the name Rose Ink, but when you go into this fragrance, don't think about rose. Yes, the rose is present here, but I also get this really beautiful leathery saffron here. So if you're one that likes Tuscan leather, if you like, it's not a clone, guys, but it's gonna be in that genre, in that vein of classification with that leather accord, some rose, some freeness, very sophisticated, very intoxicating, very um, inviting, a little bit seductive. So it hits you from all different angles. All I can say, guys, here at NIC with this fragrance is next level good. I think this here, puts Kieran and I see with the top dogs, guys. Great release, kudos to them. Check this out, guys. I think one of the best releases of 2020 so far. If you guys wanna see a full review on this one, let me know down in the comments and I'll come back with it for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy my 10 picks for this fall 2020. These are gonna be my top fragrances for the next few months. Let me know in the comments what you guys are looking to wear in the fall of 2020. What are your top choices? You can put down your top three, top five, top 10. Go crazy in the comments, share your thoughts with me. Let me know if you have tried any of these and if you have, what are your thoughts on them? And of course, you can actually try any of these at myfragrancesamples.com if you guys want to. They should have 
almost all of these, if not all of them. And if they don't have it yet, it'll be coming very soon. But again, I'll have the link for all these fragrances in the description. If you guys want to check them out, you can. As always, if you do enjoy this video, show me your support. Leave me a like, click the subscriber, and turn on your notification bell icon so you get videos straight into your feed. As always, remember, fragrance is emotion in motion. So wear what truly moves you. I'll see you guys right back here real soon. Take care.